uh, Bortle here with the current YCS Lubbock champion, Ramiro Garcia. And he actually top 32 at the YCS Niagara Falls event over the weekend. Wow, this man is on fire. I could see why he wanted to keep his deck list secret because it paid off. He topped this event. Be sure to check out his team's YouTube channel in the description down below. And let's go ahead and proceed with the deck profile. Let's hear it out. All right, this is Eric from Ava Cards and Games, and we have who? Uh, Ramiro Garcia. And what did you just do? Uh, top 32 to YCS Niagara Falls. And you want to start with any shout outs? Uh, yeah, I got quite a bit. Uh, shout outs to Ava Cards and Games. Shout outs to uh, my teammate Colin Bradshaw for also topping this event. Uh, we both lost the top 32, unfortunately. But had, happens. Uh, yep, it happens. Uh, big shout outs to uh, Nick, uh, Robert, uh, the Muskets for helping me out building deck. Uh, been playing this deck for like two or three weeks. It's changed a lot. Uh, big shout outs to them for helping me uh, fix the deck. Uh, shout outs to everyone back home. Shout outs to uh, Miles, uh, Jeremy, and everyone from uh, DFW. Shout outs to Eric for filming. Uh, that's pretty much it, yeah. All right, so let's get to the list. Oh, what did you play, by the way? I played Little Light Orchest. All right, so let's see the spice. Yeah, 42 cards. 42 cards to goo. Yeah. So first off, for the Little Light Engine, we played uh, 3 Cloud Trick. Best card in the deck. It's cost. It's pretty nice. Uh, 3 Tiger. Reborn. Pretty good. Uh, 2 Yellow Martin and 1 Emerald Bird. Pretty much all the ones you need. Uh, as soon as you get to like one of each, you're pretty much set. This will recycle this and just keep on going. You basically get uh, three free summons every turn. And then we obviously play Orcist. Uh, play one Summon Skeleton, one Harpoor, one War Wand, and two Nightmares. I decided to cut this to one. Uh, came up, the second one came up like once or twice this weekend. Uh, but I needed to fit a certain card in, and so I decided to cut it. I ended up being all right. Why not just play 43 and throw it in there? <laughs> I, I thought about it, yeah. Uh, now for the Danger Engine, I decided to play 9. So we played 6 good ones. And then uh, 2 Moth because of little 4s. Helps you combo, make added thought in this deck. And the ninth Danger that I decided to play was Bigfoot. And why Bigfoot? So I decided to play Bigfoot because uh, I main deck no uh, spell and trap removal. And I wanted a searchable card that outed uh, flood Floodgates or cards so this ended up being the ninth danger and it was pretty good and i regret it and then lastly but not least my last two monsters i'm um, getting it's a really good starter card uh helps you play around there can only be one uh game one if you open like tiger in this instead of cloud checking that so it's pretty cool and zephyrus is obviously really good in this deck bouncing tiger get another summon that card's insane it's really good that's it for the monsters and for a lot of really good spell cards Three tanky. Ulti, gotta be. Gotta be. Uh, three perfumes. Three goods. Helps you start off your combos. Gets you to this or any missing piece you need. Uh, one full spirit and one babble. That's it for the spells. Then my traps. Play it. Six traps. One of the Lunar Light Serenade Dance. Helps you a uh, combo with foolish goods. And it's also searchable with the Uh One crescendo. One Imperial Order. I was setting this off Griffin game one, so it's pretty good. And the last card was three impermanence. Uh, this is probably the best card of my deck. Every time I resolve this card, I won the game. So this is the card I was talking about fitting in. How many mermaids did you hit with that? Uh, two, I think. Yeah, pretty good. That's it for the main deck. Forty-two cards for my extra. Deck. You got the mermaid, phoenix. Griffin for my nightmares. I didn't play Unicorn in those room, and I didn't play Service because no room either. So just the ones I needed to combo. For my Orcus cards, played two Galatea and Langusu. This card was really good. Uh, I summoned it at least like once a match. So really glad I played this. Let's see, my other link monsters were Curious and Bolasword. This is part of your uh, Griffin combo, or it helps you play through cards when your mermaid gets stopped. And obviously, you summon this when you're trying to kill people. And my rank 4 slash Xyz, uh, Bistoler, Tornado Dragon, uh, 4 slash Easter Sephiroth, uh, my Azathoth package. Obviously, this is really good. Triggers Yellow Martin, triggers uh, 
Emerald Bird, and those are all really good. Last six seed is uh, Dengusu. I wish I could play two. Definitely only have room for one, so unfortunate. And the last card was uh, Mega Fleet. Possibly the worst card in my extra. <laughs> I fought against one Cyber Dragon Orcus this weekend, and uh, it was top 32, and it did nothing. He played around in both games, and I couldn't summon it. What would you swap for anything in particular? Uh, Probably one of the cards in my side deck, or a different card that I didn't play, I wish I played. And we'll get to the side deck game. You'll see from there. So I decided I side deck two extra deck monsters. I side decked uh, Firefighting Drumadol. Now what does that do for the people that don't know? Uh, so it takes uh, two Beast Warrior and or uh, Wing Beast monsters. And then you basically target a Spell Trap on your field and a Spell Trap on your opponent's field. And you destroy them both. So there's a combo with like a Kalado Tiger. So you just uh, summon the guys, make this target tiger, target a back row, and you get into the monster. So it's pretty free. It's pretty nice. And then the second extra card, the only extra card I side was my second Abyss Dweller. So this is for matchups like Orcus and Cyber Dragon Orcus. And it's when I would go first and my hand would be uh, okay. My first solo was uh, meant to stop him for a turn. And then if I couldn't kill him my following turn, I would make my second one. And that would just stun him for two turns and I should be able to win on the third turn. So for grand games, stuff like that. Alright. And I decided three stream modes for combo decks. I don't think I ever cited that card in. <laughs> Uh, three Twin Twisters, this card came in a lot. Uh, three Red Reboot, this was also really good. Stop Sanctum, it's really good. Uh, three Artifact Lancia, you probably need to play this card. I unfortunately never saw this card when I sided it in, so. And my last card was uh, Eradicator. Uh, I was back and forth on this, deciding to side another Floodgate or this card, and I ended up going with this card, and uh, I did not regret the decision, so. This was really good. And that's it. Do you have any final comments on your deck? Uh, I don't believe so. The deck performed really well. Uh, only drew bad like one game, I think. Yeah, overall, good weekend. We had a rough start uh, to Saturday, but that's a different story. All right, thank you for the list.